Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a story time video. I've wanted to film this for the longest time and something happened recently that really sort of pushed me to make this because it's like a paranormal experience, I guess. I don't know. I know these videos are very popular on YouTube. I love watching them and I hope you guys will enjoy hearing about but yeah, I know some people actually do get quite offended by these videos because it can like conflict with religious views and whatnot. So if you don't like this video, then you can leave. There's nothing stopping you from leaving. So yeah, and I'm not lying to you. All of this stuff actually happened. I'm gonna sit on a blanket because I'm feeling super small today. So my first paranormal story takes place in my bedroom. Basically, one night, it's not actually that scary when I come to think about it. One night I was lying in my bed and I'm just lying there and I'm drifting off to sleep and I hear like a pull, like a tug at my window. So obviously I was just like, what? So I hear a tug at my window and I think nothing of it, it's the wind, which there wasn't even any wind. So yeah, I carried on and I lay there and then there was another one. Another one! There was another tug and by this point I was thinking, shh. Shit, there's someone trying to get into my room. But that makes no sense unless someone had a ladder and I don't see why anyone would want to come into my room. Well, actually, maybe I do, but I don't think there is anyone around here who would try to do that. This night was like a really still night. There was no wind or anything. That it wasn't raining. It was just really, really, really quiet. Now, my house is really, really old. So when I actually shut the window, if I want to shut it, the hinge down, the actual window part is slightly open, meaning you can sort of open it and close it like a tiny bit. With, with force though, like, with quite a lot of force. Like I struggle to do it. So anyway, I'm lying there and what is sort of starts from gradual pulling turns into this mad frenzy of like someone literally like really trying to bust in through my window. So I was lying in my bed and I was like, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I am going to die. And so my first instinct was just, I shout my dad's name and it stopped. It just completely stopped like that. And I was just like, oh my God. And I ran into my parents' room and I was a massive mess. I was like, someone trying to get in my room, someone trying to get in my room. Bearing in mind, this was probably about one o'clock in the morning because I genuinely thought there was someone trying to get into my bedroom. So we came into my bedroom and there was no, there was nothing. Um, we had a look around the outside of the house. There was no one there, nothing. No sign of anyone had been there. Uh, I didn't hear any cars pull away or anything. So yeah, that was pretty scary. Don't know why I'm holding on to a fixing spray. But my second story will f your little brains. So sleep paralysis. If you don't know what sleep paralysis is, it's basically where you're like half asleep and half awake. I wouldn't recommend reading into it too much because apparently it can cause it and I would never in a million years wish someone to go through sleep paralysis because it is the most horrendous experience of your life. Basically, you're like half awake and you're half asleep, so it's like, oh, I can't remember, it's like your brain is dreaming and then your, your body is like asleep or something, but you're conscious, so it's like, it's like how I am now, in that I am seeing everything for real, but your brain is dreaming, so you're kind of hallucinating and you're paralysed, you are completely stuck and you are not in control of your own movement, and you cannot shout, and you cannot scream and you just you are just stuck like you, you cannot move now i had this two or three nights ago i can't quite remember and it was my first ever time having it my sister's actually had it quite frequently before but she's sort of dealt with it and she sort of knows what it is so obviously i was lying in bed i was funny enough i was thinking about it and i was thinking about the fact that i couldn't get to sleep i was like I can't get to sleep and i was thinking about dreams and stuff and what my dreams were like and i went to turn over and i could not move my hands were stuck i was on my side and i just thought shit i know as in sleep paralysis you sort of hallucinate a lot most of the time people uh, will see some sort of scary person or creature or like the devil and they will come in and they will get on their chest and try and stop you from breathing and you go through this sensation of not being able to breathe so i was lying there thinking oh my god oh my god oh my god this is happening i was like i'm having sleep paralysis right now and i was i know that the more scared you are going into sleep paralysis the worse it's going to be so I was just lying there thinking, oh no, oh no, because I was just like, I am, I was so afraid, I was so, so, so afraid of what was going to happen, who was going to come through my door, obviously there was no one actually going to come through my door, but in my head, and I hallucinated a woman, and this was a woman, and she was very tall, she was sort of like, she had like a really sort of like bony face, like a really tight face, but it was quite masculine looking, and she was in like an all black sort of Victorian looking dress, I guess, um, sort of quite typical, you 
you know, sort of like woman in black looking sort of character. And I was just lying there and I was like, I was just, I, obviously I couldn't move. I was just staring at her and I was just staring at her in the eyes thinking, you are in my imagination. Like you are 100% my imagination. And I was just thinking like, please don't hurt me. Like I was trying to send signals to my own brain. Please don't hurt me, like, please don't scare me like this. Because I was like, I was crying. I just had really many tears down my face because it was so bloody terrifying because it was real. It's like, it is real because it's there. So anyway, I, she came into my room and she got around behind me. I sleep on this side of my bed and she came here and lay next to me. And I could swear to God, I could feel the breathing on my neck like I could feel her breath on the back of my neck and I was just lying there just thinking oh my god oh my god I was so upset I was so scared like I don't think you will understand what sleep paralysis is like till you go through it because it's just like I think that's how people think they're seeing ghosts through sleep paralysis at night and because a lot of people don't actually know what it is so anyway I could feel her breathing on my neck and I was just lying on my side facing like, this I was facing that way so I couldn't see her and I was just crying and I was just I wanted it to get over and done with I just wanted it to stop but this is where the weird thing starts so I was lying there and she was applying so much pressure onto this shoulder and I was just sort of like I was lying down and I was on my side obviously so here's the bed here and I just my shoulder kept going into the bed like that because she was pushing it which is odd because in sleep paralysis you're not supposed to be able to move and I was I was moving but I wasn't in control of my movement she was, the woman was, but usually the person is supposed to, or thing is supposed to get on top of you. So that was, I was thinking, I, like, at the time, I was, obviously wasn't thinking, oh, she's supposed to be on top of me. Like, mm, who would think that? Because then maybe she would get on top of me. Literally, if you were stood in my doorway, it would have looked like I was being freaking possessed or something. I don't know, it was horrific. So yeah, I was lying there and eventually it stopped, but then she sort of like, See, the thing is, I can't even remember if she was holding my hand. I'm pretty sure she was, but she was holding my hand and making me scratch my shoulder very, very intensely. And I actually have cuts here on my shoulder from my nails. I will insert a better photo of the day afterwards because I actually took photos of it. And it was really sort of intense scratching on my shoulder. And I, the thing is, I spoke to my mum about it the next day and she's going, Floss, your nails aren't sharp enough to cut your skin because it actually like, it was like kind of scabbed a little bit. She's like, and those are not sharp enough to be able to cut skin. So I don't, I don't know, like, I don't know how that happened. I don't, maybe my nails did cut my skin. I, I don't know. Um, I don't, I don't have long nails. I bite my nails. Oops, I hate myself. But yeah, I really, I, I don't know what else it could have been because that was, I was just scratching my shoulder. And I remember it was really hurting, like it really hurt. And the other weird thing is the hand I was scratching my shoulder with also has cuts on it. I don't know if you can see that, like, there. I don't know how- Oh, I don't know how that got there. That was the hand that she was holding. Is there someone or something trying to ruin my life and like possess me through my sleep? Because like that's how it feels right now. But swear down man, like that's some creepy shit. Like there are cuts on my hand that I don't even know how I got there. I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm super excited to put it up because I love these videos. As I said before, if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave requests and comments comments in the comment section down below subscribe if you'd like to see more of me or if you are new here and yeah i will see you guys all in my next video